Hi everyone, uh, this is Bag of Dawn at the Stock Market Caddy. It is uh, July 31st, July 31st, Sunday evening at about 8.30. And we're going to take a look at all the markets, including the ETFs. And we're going to look at them on a, a daily view, a weekly view, and the end of month view. Uh, we're going to do this um, kind of methodically, uh, as we do each and every Sunday night. And also on um, on morning days, uh, each and every morning, of course, we're only doing uh, the daily view. At the 10-minute mark, I'm going to need to pause because we're going to post uh, the first 10 minutes to the um, YouTube to give folks that uh, have never seen us before an opportunity to see how we approach the markets as kind of a... Um, an opportunity for us to showcase what we're doing. So first thing is, let's um, take a look at the uh, the VIX structure, the volatility index, and although it is very much oversold, see if we got any warnings. Yes, we have a risk off warning and extreme calm, and this is on the monthly, uh, we weekly and monthly basis. It is still risk on. So it is a contrarian indicator, and that's why you see red, but still risk on. That's what the bulls are taking their cue from. So whether you're trading futures, uh, which is the VX, or e the VXX as a uh, moniker for the, um, uh, the volatility index. But we're going to scroll over and, uh, and, and do take a look at this. Let's bring this over. We are getting on a weekly basis a risk off warning in extreme calm. Um, that <laughs> should be self evident. What we would be strongly recommending if you've been long this market, congratulations. It might be wise to get some puts on, some protection, maybe sell a little bit to raise some cash. But when prices come back, you'll have more money to buy even more stock if that's what you want to do. But that's the first thing that we look at. Now we want to go and look at a consolidated consolidated view of all of our markets. And uh, these are the futures markets first. Again, the VIX is shown again. Uh, it's, it's redness actually means green because uh, it's a contrarian indicator other than it's been very extreme but as we come down we look at uh, we're going to give everyone a chance we can't comment on every market but we'll explain what we're what you're looking at um, the TF uh, the Russell long on the daily for 16 days long tailwind and then we're going to talk in a moment about these numbers <clears throat> But um, the indices um, long TF uh, 11 weeks, and but it's been short on a monthly basis for as long as seven months. Although it's been a very significant counter trend. <coughs> the uh, the ES contract, the S&P long on a daily 17 days, long on a weekly 16 weeks, and on a monthly basis 70 months. <laughs> Not even a hint of any selling to speak of that's registering on the swing machine. NQ, same thing. The Dow, the Dow is showing on a daily basis that is entered into after 17 days being on the run, entering into a little chop. Not too much to be concerned with, but a little chop. On a weekly basis, 18 weeks, and on a monthly basis, four weeks long, totally confirmed. Now we're going to scroll down and let everyone um, slow the video down to any of the currencies that might interest you. We don't, in the interest of time, will not comment other than on the dollar. The dollar is showing short on a daily, short on a weekly, and chop on a monthly that could get pushed out. Um, you want to see whatever direction you're in. You want to see a confirmation on the GPS, and you also want to see a confirmation of what we call it's either a tailwind if you're long, you want to see this all green and at your back, or if you're short and that's the direction of your trade, you want to see it all red and in your face, a, uh, a headwind. The euro dollar, what you just look. If this looks a little different uh, to you, it, uh, it doesn't to our subscribers. They get uh, quite familiar with it. It's a way of looking at um, um, hundreds and hundreds of charts, applying the same consistency, though, to each and every one in each and every market. And um, you can just go back and ask yourself on gold, for instance, boy, I wish I had known to go long gold 34 days ago, 26 weeks ago, two months ago. Silver. You can see as well, copper, oil, short down for 32 days, 11 weeks, 
in the um, now in chop. Monthly though is still also in a bearish mode. And we'll give everyone a chance to see. On a daily basis, the 10 year is flashing a short entry, which is interesting, not yet confirmed. Uh, on a weekly and monthly basis, it's been long. Same thing with the, um, the US uh, bond, the 30 year bond. And then we'll scroll down, and these are what we call the softs. And we'll give everyone a chance to record and see what they need to see. Now we're going to slide over and um, for our uh, current subscribers we have uh, reorder, reordered some things. We are now leading with what we call the fairway and rough conditions. The fairway and rough. This gives you the key resistance areas. The second cut or rough. First cut. Center cut which is the short grass. Then the first cut low and second cut low. Think of these as, as support and resistance markers. Um, and they also uh, correspond to each one of these, of course, daily, weekly, or monthly. And now we already show these on a weekly, on, on Sunday evenings, on the, uh, the morning videos. We're just purely looking at the daily numbers. So when I scroll back up, we'll give everyone a chance to see this. And we'll go page up. And when we look at the, the Russell, for instance, you can see we are very much um, getting into, um, well, on the second cut, it's interesting, almost identical on the daily and weekly, and that's quite rare. Um, on the ES, 2180 on the daily, 2184 on the weekly, 2201 uh, on the monthly. So we are hitting some major, major resistance areas, and this is the, uh, the outer boundary, if you will, on all time frames of the ES. So you can slow down the video. We also provide, we'll be providing our, um, our members, we provide them a, um, uh, a document, if you will, a um, um, logistic sheet to write these numbers down so that they can see them. You want to look for congruency for some significant resistance on whatever market they're looking at. And we also provide a, uh, a scorecard too. And uh, we're going to be e emailing that out to you guys. Um, uh, we just got completed that uh, this this past weekend, and um, and then the NQ, of course, NQs had a big run, but um, we look, you know, still could. She's right in here now on a, on the uh, the monthly basis. Let's just slide over and look at the NQ. The NQ is currently trading at 47.32, 47.32, and we slide over 47.32 on the daily the rough uh, the resistance level is 4751 4796 4740 so we're getting right up in there these are key areas if you're trading intraday very important to get markers on your market so you don't lose sight of where you are you don't want to be chasing a long for the sake of um, um, you know a 10 or 15 minute trade and um, and and lose that um, that opportunity um, you know, in, in some sort of a massive sell-off, as I guess what I'm saying. You don't be going along for 15 minutes and then get, you know, run into these stiff resistance and have the thing just, you know, have them pull the, uh, the rug out from under you. You got to consider the risk-reward. And then these are the outer boundaries. And generally, they're wider than this, but um, also gives you, you would consider this pricing getting outside here, which some of them are pressing, um, is really... Um, um, we would consider out of bounds. RSI is interesting. Uh, look how low the VIX is on a daily. Quite low. Look where the uh, the NQ is above 70. Quite high. Um, significantly um, over overcooked. I hate to use the word overbought or oversold. We'll scroll back down. Look for an RSI. Silver very very much overcooked just because an oversold or overbought conditions can lead one to think, oh, I'll go short it. That's not necessarily the case. Overbought can become more overbought and can stay overbought. There are signals and triggers that you want to look for, um, and we provide those to our um, subscribers. We're nearing uh, the 10 minute mark, so we're going to need to um, pause this video. If you're coming across this video on the uh, the internet, Please um, 
feel free to contact us because we go into a lot more depth. We do all the ETFs. We do the prima donna stocks. We have specific setups and triggers for folks to, um, you know, take, um, you know, some opportunities in the market. We look at the markets this way each and every day. It's the same. And um, we try to be as objective as, as possible. Very unique. Thanks. And uh, members will be right back. <laughs>